Having lost Cheshire's power, Lucaon struggled to stay on his feet, and then... A heroic demon? Such altruism was unheard of throughout all infernal texts. But Ceresa understood. You did? The sorrow and anger were gone from Lucan's eyes. My soul, My soul cannot, cannot hold, hold this floor much, much longer. longer. I figured, I figured this, time this time was my last, last chance. chance. No! I thought demons, demons were all heartless monsters. monsters. But I was wrong. wrong. Cheshire, Cheshire, was it? Was it? Forgive, Forgive me for me what I what tried, I tried to, do. to do. The only hope. Look on. All of a sudden, there was an ear splitting crack, and a flash of light illuminated the sky. Morgana had succeeded in breaking the barrier, trapping them in the forest. Of course! If we can get you to my master, she'll find a way to save you! What? what? Oh, there's still time! Come on! We have to get you to her! Look, on, I won't let you die here! Splendid! Oh, the pathos is palpable! <laughs> you! On behalf of Avalon the Forest, you have our eternal gratitude. Why, the trees themselves shall sing a ballad of your deeds? It was Puka the self-proclaimed king, 
His usual retinue was nowhere to be seen. Though his outfit had seen better days, his elocution was still to be admired. We're in no mood for your riddles! Back off! Why, we have no need to quarrel. Our subjects will gladly escort you to the edge of the forest. And, led by our fairy light, one ill needs that lupine guide. Lead a filthy beast where he lies. Puka was after Lukaon's spirit and the royal power that it contained. Hearing his words, Ceresa knew it had been Puka who had betrayed the fairy king. Puka, who had torn Lukan's family apart before cursing him to wander the forest in solitude. You fiend! Enough! I will run no longer. But in exchange, let those two go. No! Lukan, you can't! This is for the best, Sarisa. My time is up. Lucan, don't give up! We're not going to let you take him, got it? And for the record, I knew you were lying about being a king. So be it! One way or another, he will die! And with his royal line extinguished, we shall be eclipsed no longer. Fairy brethren, the cursed child is finally within our grasp. The false king's son reaches its nadir, and now Poker's star shines bright. On Puka's signal, a terrifying number of fairies appeared out of the darkness. Staring down what must have been every last fairy in Avalon, Ceresa's legs began to tremble. But no matter the odds, she refused to give up. But then... The writhing mass of fairies hot on his heels. Cheshire ran towards the pillar of light. Cheshire ran like the wind. Ceresa felt his warmth through his mane. There was no stopping them now.
Escaping the fairy's clutches, the pair made it out of the forest. Or so they thought. the fairies, they were slowly being dragged back into the forest. <coughs> Refusing <coughs> to give in, Teresa held on with all her might. <coughs> but then... Something sent the fairies flying like leaves scattered to the wind. This was a technique Ceresa had seen before. But before Puka could finish, Morgana extinguished his life with a single powerful strike. Morgana! I'm so sorry for disobeying you, but please, save the scolding for later! something he'll die please morgana can you save him morgana said nothing she gently stroked the wolf's fur confused Ceresa looked at her master huh She saw an expression of which she did not think Morgana was capable. It was warm, filled with love. Morgana? You want to save him? How dare you? How dare you say those words after what you did to him, you foolish girl! Teresa, why is that demon still here? Did he not reach the altar? What do you think those years of training were for? Morgana appeared to be growing more angry by the second. She advanced on Teresa and Cheshire. Morgana? What are you saying? What's wrong? You still don't get it? The training, the brace, the dream. Do you have any idea how long I prepared for the day my precious Lucaon would return? Thunder crashed in the distance. Wind screamed through the trees. A cold chill ran through the air. Dozens of girls I lured into that forest. Each required years of training. All for naught. I was so close this time, but you had to go and ruin everything, you selfish brat. Ceresa had endured her share of scolding from Morgana, but this time was different. These were not the words of a strict teacher. They were filled with nothing but pure loathing. 
I... I... Useless girl! Lucaon and I will be together again. You will surrender that wretched demon this instant. Oh, I see. Made a new friend, have you? A demon born under the full moon of the bisextile night. That creature is the key to breaking Luke On's curse. Now, Cereza. I've waited far too long to let a child's sentiment stand in my way. Morgana! I know I wasn't a good pupil. I always messed up during training and broke your rules. I... I know I let you down. You might have been strict, but I always knew you cared about me. You are... like a mother to me. I just wanted to... make you proud. Get away! <laughs> Pull yourself together, she is our enemy. Cheshire tried to get Cereza to her feet. Morgana's next attack would come at any moment. But Cereza could not move a muscle. Just then, something caused Morgana to stop. Using the last of his strength, Lucaon clung to her dress. Please, Mother! No more! I can't bear to see you like this! Don't fret, my dear. Soon everything will be back to the way it was. Her expression fixed, Morgana moved her son aside. A pity. You had the potential to become a fine witch, Cereza. If only you'd hardened your heart. But you were always so damn soft! <laughs> 